Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here with another speed build and today we are doing a vampire starter home using the majority of items from the new vampire game pack to The Sims 4 which came out not too long ago. I recommend you go and get it if you haven't already because it is a really really good pack. So today I'm back with another vampire inspired build and um, well video because I have been doing a lot of vampire videos on my channel recently because I just love this pack so much. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the build here but first of all you can head over to my origin ID which is real Thomas TV one and you can go ahead and download this house for yourself Um, I don't think there is well there's no custom content in it but sometimes I get that custom content con oh my god I can't speak the CC glitch so if um, you can't find it which you should be able to because I don't think I got it this time then just make sure you hit the advanced tab and click show custom content and you'll be able to see it if you can't but I'm pretty sure I, I didn't get the glitch this time so um, this is in the new world of Forgotten Hollow um, and I'm really, really excited about it. It is a really, really good world. Um, and yeah, so we're doing the exterior here, but I don't do all the exterior like in the start bit here. Uh, what I tend to do in a lot of my builds is do one area of the builds and then move on to another bit and then I come back to the other, like the, the, the bit before that. I don't know why I do it, but I always do it in random orders, which is... I don't know why I do it. It's, I mean, it isn't a bad thing, I suppose. It's just a bit random, to be honest. So um, um, we're just doing like kind of the basics of the outside really at the end we go through the plants and all that sort of stuff um, and I've also already done the voiceover for this but then I realized when I got to this point in the build as you see on screen now sorry I just hit my pop filter and <laughs> um, this bit on screen now I was like watching back and I'm like this is very very slow and the video was like 20 minutes I'm like oh, I think that's a bit too long for a build and then I realized I hadn't even sped up the video so I'm doing the voiceover again um, I didn't, you know, I, well, I didn't speak for the whole 20 minutes. I got up to this point and realised. Um, but yeah, so let me know how long you, you think a speed build should be. Um, I think, well, this build is about six minutes and that's because it is a small home. But, you know, um, I think that is maybe a little bit too on the short side. But just let me know, um, a ran, well, not random. <laughs> I don't know why I said random. A rough idea of how many minutes a speed build should be. Um, just to give me a rough idea for the next one. So I kind of, well, I think a shorter video might be on the a good side just so it doesn't get too boring because I feel like I've run out of things to say and I'm just repeating myself a lot. Um, so there isn't any like technology in this house. There isn't a computer or a TV or anything, but that's something you could easily just put in next to the fireplace, I suppose. Um, I just didn't really think it fit the aesthetic of this house, but you know, that is something you'd easily put in. Um, I suppose your Sims need some form of entertainment. So I think that will be pretty necessary. And I also didn't have a lot of money. This house came out to be about 22,000, which I think is maybe just over the limit for start at home but I mean if you download this maybe just taking one or two items out and you'll be able to afford it um, and then as your sims work up and their jobs and things they should be able to afford a um a computer or a TV. I think I was left with about 47 simoleons. Um, I always have trouble with starter homes. It always gets to the end when I'm just doing like plants and stuff on the outside. And plants are really, really expensive in this game, to be honest. Um, and I just started running out. So yeah. Um, so in the bedroom, as you can see, I did put a coffin in there. I thought it was a really, really good idea for a vampire sim. Just something a little bit different for a bedroom instead of just a regular bed. So there is just a coffin in there. Um, the bedroom is pretty like boring to be honest there just isn't a whole lot of room and um, well room really well well it is a starter home so i suppose there isn't a whole lot of room but i was running out of money as well so the rooms are a little bit boring i suppose but like i said as your sims get more money that is something you can work on so for the kitchen here it is a pretty small one as well um i did use the new counters and cabinets that came with the vampire game pack but i realized at the end i was starting to run out of money so i did have to take those out and go with a cheaper option but it does look pretty similar to the vampire one actually so now we're going in with the curtains and I did change this around a couple of times because the other one was a little bit expensive as well. So I did uh, go for a cheaper option again when I started to get a little bit panicky because I was running out of money. Um, but I don't really think those go too well with that type of window. That's something I said in one of my other builds not too long ago actually was that um, I feel like with the smaller windows, it isn't really a whole lot of options in terms of curtains. So it does get a little bit irritating um, because it's always something that I'm not really too happy with in terms of curtains. So I'm hoping we'll get something in a future pack where we'll have a lot more options for uh, smaller windows in terms of curtains. I think that'd be really nice. Another thing that this house lacks is artwork. <laughs> I just felt there wasn't really a whole lot of room for that and there wasn't a lot of money either. Um, and I mean, it is just a starter house as well. I keep forgetting that. that it won't be, you know, very aesthetic. I, I can't speak. You know what I'm trying to say. It just isn't, it won't be that good. But you know, with money coming in from your Sims working and stuff in the future, they'll be able to afford that sort of stuff. Um, so I did have to take one of the chairs out as well at the end in the living room there, one of those red ones, just again, because I've run out of money. 
did change the fireplace as well to a cheaper one because I was running out of money. It was just a big struggle with starter homes and it is a pretty stressful thing to do but I did manage to do it in the end. So we are at the screenshots just about now. Hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you head over to my Origin ID to download this for yourself. Also make sure you leave, well, other than other, well not just at the end yet, um, with the plants and stuff I was also had a problem with a diagonal roof. I was trying to put one of those things on the top that came with vampires, one of those roof decorations, I can't, I can't think what it's called, but I think there was a problem with a diagonal roof and it just wasn't working and it took me ages to get it to work and it didn't end up working in the end. So that is it for this video, hope you enjoyed. Here are some screenshots just coming up in a second so you can see how the end product is. Make sure you leave this video with a like, share and subscribe if you haven't and also leave some comments down below for some future video ideas, vampire or non-vampire related and I'll see you all next time. Bye!